I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of Phenibit. Now, this is an update to a video I made on Phenibit several years ago. You'll learn why we use Phenibit as a nootropic supplement. You'll learn what it is, how much to use the recommended Phenibit dosage, how many times per week to use Phenibit, the potential side effects of Phenibit, and the best place to buy Phenibit. Now, before we get started, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel by using the subscribe button just below this video. And please also use the share button so others can learn about Phenibit and how it may help them and what to watch out for if you decide to supplement with this nootropic. So stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about Phenibit. Let's get started. Phenibit is an analog of the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA. The addition of a phenyl ring allows GABA to cross the blood-brain barrier. Now, neurohackers prefer Phenibit when the goal is to raise GABA levels in the brain because synthetic GABA, as a supplement, may have some difficulty crossing the blood-brain barrier. Phenibit was developed in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1963, and it was, has since been used as a pharmaceutical in Eastern Europe to treat PTSD, anxiety, depression, insomnia, alcoholism, and other neurological disorders. GABA's role is to keep glutamate, your primary excitatory neurotransmitter, from overwhelming you. Too much glutamate can cause a seizure, and too much GABA can put you in a coma. A healthy brain maintains a critical balance of GABA and glutamate. GABA acts like a break on neuron circuits during stress, low GABA levels can result in anxiety, insomnia, poor mood, and restlessness. The clinical studies show that boosting GABA with a supplement like Phenibit can relieve anxiety, stress, and boost the production of alpha brain waves. If GABA is optimized in your brain, you'll feel focused, relaxed, and stress-free. GABA is naturally synthesized in your brain from glutamate. It's estimated that 40% of the synapses in, your, in the human brain work with GABA and therefore have GABA receptors. So when using Phenibit to boost GABA, you enhance normal sleep cycles and improve blood pressure. GABA even stimulates the pituitary gland to secrete human growth hormone and helps produce endorphins that make you feel good after a workout or sex. Soon after Phenibit was discovered in St. Petersburg, Russia, it was being prescribed by doctors to lower stress and anxiety, treat PTSD, and insomnia. Phenibit was included in the medical kit for Russian astronauts on the Soyuz 19 in Salyut 4 missions as a tranquilizer. Phenibit is one of the only tranquilizers that lowers stress levels without negatively affecting performance. As a nootropic, when you use Phenibit to normalize GABA levels, you should experience a reduction in anxiety, insomnia, nervousness, restlessness, and stress. Phenibit can be a more natural, safer alternative to benzo drugs. These pharmaceuticals work by modulating GABA-A receptors. Phenibit helps brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, Phenibit boosts GABA in the brain. Phenibit is a derivative of GABA and easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. GABA on its own has difficulty crossing this barrier unless paired with a dedicated carrier. GABA works by preventing neural signaling associated with anxiety from reaching other neurons. It does this by attaching to the receptors that would otherwise excite those neurons. Overstimulating neurons in certain areas of your brain can cause anxiety-related symptoms. The majority of studies on Phenibit have been conducted in Russia, and most of the studies have been done with animals. In this study, using rabbits, scientists looked at anxiety behaviors and how they were affected by Phenibit. They exposed the rabbits to emotional stimuli, causing anxiety in these animals. Anxiety caused the rabbits to freeze, and exhibit defensive reactions. 
Behavior is very similar to what happens in humans when they're under stress. Now, when the rabbits were administered fenibit, the anxiety caused reactions of defensiveness and passive reactions or freezing decreased to normal, to normal behavior. And then second, GABA changes brain waves. Using fenibit as a nootropic helps increase GABA levels in your brain, and we know that GABA helps decrease beta brain waves and increase alpha brain waves. Beta brain waves are important for attention, alertness, concentration, and developing memories. But excess levels of concentration, particularly during stress, can lead to anxiety, depression, insomnia, and more stress. Now, when you're in an alert state, both alpha and beta brain waves can be stimulated, but the type of alertness will determine which brain wave is produced. Alertness during an alpha wave state is associated with a relaxed state, and a stressed alert state produces a beta wave. But an excess of beta brain waves contributes to a ver variety of nervous disorders, including anxiety and stress. Most of the clinical studies available done with humans use GABA supplementation rather than fenibit. But the outcome of using GABA could be applied to using fenibit to increase GABA levels in the brain. Now, fenibit crosses the blood-brain barrier more effectively than GABA. In this study, researchers investigated using GABA on relaxation and immunity during stress in humans. They evaluated the effect on 13 subjects of GABA intake on brainwaves. An EEG was used to measure brainwaves after subjects took water only, GABA, or L-theanine. 80 minutes after administration, the study showed that GABA significantly increased alpha waves and decreased beta waves compared to water or L-theanine. The re researchers concluded that raising brain levels of GABA induced relaxation and diminished anxiety. And you raise brain levels of GABA effectively when supplementing with fenibit. Fenibit is an analog of GABA. The addition of a phenyl ring allows fenibit to cross the blood-brain barrier much more easily than GABA taken as a supplement. Now, we need adequate GABA levels in our brain because it's an inhibitory neurotransmitter. When we raise GABA levels by supplementing with fenibit, we help keep glutamate in check. Glutamate is your body's most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter, which is responsible for attention span, brain energy, learning ability, memory, and staying awake. So GABA is calming and glutamate is stimulating, and they must be in balance with each other for optimal cognitive health. An imbalance of these two neurotransmitters can cause fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, poor memory, cognition, anxiety, and depression. And when these two neurotransmitters work together efficiently, you feel relaxed with no stress or feelings of anxiety, and you get a more restful night's sleep. Adding fenibit to your nootropic stack can help bring fen GABA and glutamate back into balance. When you balance GABA levels in your brain, you feel relaxed and calm. And many neurohackers who try using GABA as a supplement don't feel the effects because GABA, the GABA molecule is a little too large to easily cross the blood-brain barrier. Now note, if you do feel the calming effects of supplementing with GABA within a half hour of taking it, it may mean that you have a leaky blood-brain barrier, which is not a good thing. Because if GABA can easily get through, all kinds of nasty stuff can get through too, including toxins, undigested food particles, and anything else in your bloodstream that shouldn't be in your brain. So see my video on this channel on how to fi fix a leaky blood-brain barrier. I'll include a link to it down in the notes section. But here we're talking about increasing our GABA levels using fenibit. Neurohackers report that adding fenibit to their stack relieves anxiety, there's less stress, and they feel more relaxed. In fact, some say it's the best anti-anxiety medication that they've ever used, including some well-known pharmaceuticals used to treat anxiety, with none of the nasty side effects that come with prescription meds. Now, social functions could get some help with fenibit. You could feel less inhibited, speak freely, and feel more confident. Others report that fenibit boosts sex drive 
And for men, it helps control ejaculation. And it helps for a better night's sleep. Athletes report that Phenibit goes well with a workout because Phenibit has been shown to boost human growth hormone. You'll be able to work out with less fatigue, energy levels will go up, muscles won't be as sore, and recovery could be faster. Phenibit takes two to four hours before you begin to feel its effects. A strong word of caution. Do not increase the dose or take additional Phenibit if you think things are not happening fast enough. Wait at least 24 hours before taking another dose. GABA was identified as a neurotransmitter several decades ago, and there has been a lot of research on GABA published since. But most of it's focused on how GABA works and the drugs and chemicals which affect its action. There is very little research available on using GABA as a supplement, likely because most scientists believe that GABA taken as a supplement will not cross the blood-brain barrier. And there's even less research available on using phenibit, particularly in humans. Most of the clinical trials have been done in Russia and were done with animals, and they're done in Russian. So here we're talking about how GABA can affect your cognition and overall health. This research support, supports the idea that using phenibit to raise GABA levels can have a profound effect on your quality of life. Bodybuilders and athletes use phenibit or even GABA to help repair and build muscle. And there are several studies supporting the notion that GABA increases human growth hormone. In one study, researchers worked with 19 subjects who were given a single oral dose of 5 grams of GABA. 18 subjects were given a placebo during this trial. Three hours after the administration of GABA, blood samples were taken. The team reported that GABA caused a significant elevation of plasma growth hormone levels. A Los Angeles study conducted a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial with 18 patients with sleep disorders. The patients received either a placebo or gabadone, which is a combination of GABA and HTP. The difference between the two groups of sleep-deprived de deprived patients was significant. The gabadone group fell asleep faster, stayed asleep longer, and had a better quality of sleep than the placebo group. Neurohackers consistently report a similar effect on sleep quality when using Phenibet. The recommended daily starting dosage of Phenibit is 2 to 300 milligrams for a relaxation or calming effect. Give it 2 to 4 hours before it starts to kick in. More experienced Phenibit users go with 1 to 1.5 1 grams per dose and up to 3 times a week. Now since you can quickly build up a tolerance to Phenibit, dosing less often is preferred. Many advise keeping Phenibit used to one, once or twice a week with almost no side effects and no hangover the next day. Now, Phenibit can be very addictive for some people, and the withdrawal from continuous use is particularly nasty. So if you're going to try Phenibit, make sure you follow the dosage recommendations. Serious. Phenibit is considered safe when taken in normal recommended doses. Bodybuilders who use much higher doses of Phenibit do report experiencing flushing, tingling, a spike in heart rate and blood pressure, and anxiety. You can build up tolerance to Phenibit quickly. And if you have an addictive personality or have problems with addiction, you should avoid using Phenibit. Most neurohackers suggest cycling Phenibit, using recommended doses for four or five days and taking a few days off. Others suggest only using Phenibit once a week. You'll have to find out what works for you if you decide to try Phenibit. And expect to have a rough ride at first. Too much and the withdrawal can be nasty. Now you are strongly advised not to combine Phenibit with alcohol. And absolutely do not combine Phenibit with benzos because if you do, you can put yourself into a coma. Phenibit as a supplement is available in tablet, capsule, and powder form. Scientists have shown that Phenibit easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. 
Phenibut is an analog of GABA developed in Russia, and it increases levels of GABA in your brain. Now, while some report that Phenibut causes drowsiness and fatigue, it's a much safer way to boost GABA than with benzos. But do not combine either benzos or any drug that raises GABA with phenibut because you could put yourself into a coma. I recommend Cosmic Nootropic, who carries phenibut currently. I will include a link to their store in the notes section down below this video. So that's my report on phenibut. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for phenibut or click on the link down below in the notes section of this video. That link will take you to a full transcript of this, of the, for this video on my website. Now, once you're at my website, Nootropic Saxer, you'll also find dozens and dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details on 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And please get a copy of the second edition of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First, the second edition is 962 pages and is available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. You can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. You will find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video. So please get your copy today. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar down below in the notes section. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you go. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.